Okay, so I think we should play a game. What do you think, Susan? Zach Ooh, and Katie. I'm liking this. I'm liking right. this. Love games. So it's a little like generational gap, Zen, Gen Z, you know, boomer kind of game. This, this or that. Or that. <laughs> so we're going to read out some ideas for you guys, and you're going to say which this or that. Okay, you're going to give it to us, and then we'll talk about it for a little minute. So, okay. Susan, go ahead. Go walk. Go. Fair enough. So, meeting on a dating app or going on a blind date, what would you be more comfortable with? Dating app, maybe, right? Because at least you see the person before. Yeah, I've heard yeah. horror stories of dating apps that, like, you know, you get catfish, you have catfish. these expectations already, and then you get let down. So, maybe the blind date would be better. To not lay your expectations and let it be a sight unseen. That's that's scary. Yeah. For me. I'm still sitting here trying to figure out what catfish means. <laughs> like, so we you know, right? Yeah, they're not who they say they are. So somebody shows like a, a picture, picture of yeah. Megan Fox, and they show up and they don't look like Megan Fox. I mean, oh, well, that that happens to us all the time. Every time Susan and I have dates, the picture looks like Zach, and we get there, and the guy's you know can barely is barely ambulatory. So no, I get it. Okay, uh, okay. Here's here's one that I actually struggle with sometimes. You're going on a first date. Mm -hmm. Go for dinner or just go out for drinks. I always involve appetizers with my cocktails, so it doesn't have to be a full-blown dinner, but I have to eat something. I would say first date just drinks. Yeah, I agree. Because it can have also ever... be quick, right? If it does yeah, suck, yeah. Like, drinks yeah. can only, they can be less than an hour. Whereas One drink and done. Okay, but what if you decide, if you decide you want to, will you stick around for dinner if they, if you're having a good time? Yeah. You yeah. have that option to go yeah. to dinner if you want. That's true. And I think it's also really good, I will add, because this is a pet peeve and like a huge turnoff for me. You really do get to find out their table manners if you do have dinner with them. Oh, if they have bad table manners, I'm, I'm out. Okay, here's one that I'm not saying I've ever done this. However, mm -hmm. I'd like your ideas. Snooping in a partner's phone Ooh. or reading their journal. Oh. Which one's better? <laughs> Which one's... I think both would you do either? <laughs> no one asked me. I'm asking Zach and Katie. <laughs> I, think, I think they're kind of like on the same page um, going into somebody's personal yeah, same thing. journal or a text or whatever. Um, I think that if you even have the thought of wanting to look in their phone, you don't have trust. And if you don't that's have right. trust, you don't have a strong relationship. And that's a whole other can of worms right there. The old uh, big ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like if you can't have the open conversation of maybe you're having a moment of insecurity or maybe there's something that popped up and, and it's bothering you. If you can't have that communication or ask that question of, hey, what was this about? If you don't can't have that and you have to resort to snooping on the phone or snooping into a thing, that exactly what Kate just said. Your relationship doesn't have a foundation. Yeah, you it'll do never work. Be, right. Be word, communication and be able to talk and say, like, hey, that bothered me. Or, hey, what can you explain why this is this way? Right. Right. And that would be totally oh, yeah. uncomfortable. I had somebody that always snooped in my phone. I was in relationships from years oh. ago. And it's like, what are you looking for here? Here yeah. it is. You want my password? Like, I'm not hiding anything. And be careful what you look for. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, what I do you agree. do? You're making problems. Yeah. I, again, I didn't say I've ever done either of these and I never would, but um, I just was curious on your thoughts. I think you two guys are so mature. It's so clear why you guys are so happy, but I want to end this little game with on a little, you know, more fun note. Yeah. yeah. Good. Big, big wedding or small wedding. Ooh. Okay. We've kind of, and what state? <laughs> we kind of toss back and forth with this. I think if we do do a destination wedding, it's going to be a little bit more smaller. It's going to be intimate. However, if we do a Texas wedding, which I think we're more geared towards, I think it'll be a, a larger scaled wedding. Um, yeah, like not like a over 300 person wedding. Not what? Oh my God. Did you say 300? <laughs> $150,000 later. A lot of my Texas friends. Come on, they've got the biggest weddings I've ever seen. They and invite they, everyone and their mother and their cousin. And Susan, you know what this means? We're guaranteed to be invited. That's what either this way means. we're going. Destination, small. Oh, we're there. We're there. See, 
We're That's there. A good, you're there. Everybody does everything big in Texas. They do. Right? <laughs> Susan still can't get over my closet size. Oh, it's no. you. The wow. best were the hills. And like uh-huh. I, I lived in, in right outside of Dallas for nine years and it was flat. What I miss the most about here, Pennsylvania, is my windy roads and the trees and everything was just, I got there. I thought I didn't believe I was in Texas. It was amazing. And the water in the middle of a city. We went on a <laughs> boat ride. I was like, what? Yeah, how cool here. Yeah. It is very cool. Very uh, cool. Susan, we're going yeah. to invite you here in the summer when it's about 110. And no, then I'm going to hear you, you sing its praises. I'll, I'll stop coming to you late May, early June. Then you come here. <laughs>